So hey everyone, today in this video, we are going to talk about why does a clinical research company hires trained clinical SaaS programmer, okay, instead of freshers. So today I was talking to some of my students who got selected as a statistical programmer in different companies, okay, and I was discussing with them how is their training going on, okay, and what difficulties they are facing there. So today I'm going to share this information to all those who are getting training in clinical SaaS from different training institute either if you're learning from your own for this role, statistical programmer or clinical SAS programmer. So guys, let me clear one thing. If you're taking training from any training institute, okay, for clinical SAS role or statistical programmer role, so you'll be mostly getting training in base, advanced, clinical, and you might have done some project as well. You created SDM Adam table listing. So you should make sure you have given your 100% or you should make sure I have minimum given 60%. Why I'm telling this, if you didn't complete your training successfully, okay, let's suppose you focused on base and advanced, okay, in clinical also you have done some part, but you didn't focus on creation of SDM Adam table listing, or you didn't focus on some part, you thought, okay, this part is more important, so I'll focus more on this part. But once you got job, let's suppose in any of the scenario, you all are getting job. So the students who didn't completed the training successfully, let's suppose he focused on particular thing, he left something and finally he got job as well. So once you get job now, in the real time, you have to implement all the knowledge which you received from your training institute mostly if they have given you complete training. So at the time of implementation of all the knowledge in real time after getting job, you will face a lot of difficulties. Now the question comes, company is also going to give you training, right? So why to worry about if you didn't complete your training successfully or didn't focus much in the training? Because company is going to give you training, you will get the training again and you will practice all the things from scratch. That's good. Your thinking is good. But let me tell you, in the company's training, the training is very fast. They'll give you documents. They'll make you to understand by your own. They'll not guide you and teach you each and everything. What they'll prefer that 40% or 30% they are guiding or taughting and 60-70% you are understanding by yourself. They initially, they have taken an interview where they had made sure that you successfully completed your training and they asked you relevant question which is required for this role. Technical question as well, non-technical question as well. And that's how they will put you on project after the assessment. Okay, there will be assessment as well during the training. So it, it doesn't mean the company is going to give you only 20 or 30% of training. They are going to give you 100% of training only. Okay, but they will teach you only 20 or 30% of those things. Okay, remaining they'll assume they'll give you a document. Okay, they'll give you overall things, they'll provide you all the access and they'll tell you small thing and they will assume that you should perform rest of the things. And that's not wrong because see in the training institute, you are paying to get training. Okay, it's your responsibility in the training institute, you should focus more because this is your fundamental. The first time you are learning, so whatever learnings you, you are going to develop in your mind, that will be your fundamental. The next time you'll be getting training in the company, okay, once you get selected. So what will happen if you have done your fundamental training in a good way? So it will be very easy because the company training will be fast as well and they'll not guide you each and everything. And they'll assume 70% or 50% of the things you should perform by your own or you should figure out a way how to solve this. That's why they take your interview. Even for fresher role, the companies assume you should have the technical knowledge and that's how they select. If you got selected, if you don't have much knowledge, for sure you are going to face difficulties. So that difficulties is not something that you are unable to handle or you are not going to handle it. You are going to handle it anyhow. But that pressure you will get it during your training period or during the project. So initial six months or seven months you are going to face a lot of pressure. If you didn't completed your training uh, or you didn't understand the concept clearly, but if you're getting in the training part, if you're getting clinical part, if you're getting the opportunity to create SDM Adam table listing, so you should focus there as well. Okay, the way you have focused in base and advanced. What happened in the base part, it is easy. So a lot of students focus there. In the advanced part also, that is Okay, somewhat easy. So a lot of students focus fully there. In the clinical part, especially in the SDM Adam, in the project part, uh, the focus level will gradually reduce. What's the reason? The things become difficult in the project part. Why? Because you need to implement all the knowledge which you received in base, advanced and clinical. Project is nothing but if I'm telling you about project, that is ultimately SDM Adam table listing, creation of those using protocol, spec 
ACRF, all the documents which will be there in study. This is very important. What I mean to say, uh, don't be lazy during your training. Okay, if you are getting training from any training institute, because even if you get job now, okay, on this road, you are going to for sure face difficulty. So difficulty is nothing but you will feel the pressure because you haven't done practice before. So this time you have to do all of the things suddenly because in your training institute, the process will be a little slower. If your trainer is good, he will make sure you are at least understanding 60% of the logic. You are clear with the concept, then only he will move forward. In the company training, it's not their responsibility that you should must understand all the things and they should must teach you all the things. Yeah, that's their responsibility that 30% of things they'll be taking. They'll make sure you should have minimum knowledge or they should, they'll not make you forward. Let's suppose they have divided their training into three different parts, stage one, stage two, and stage three. So if you are unable to perform in the stage one, you'll be not moving to stage two. If you are unable to perform in the stage two, you'll be not moving to stage three. This is just an example. So they'll be giving you training, but it's your responsibility to make it complete. Because again, their speed will be high. The way they will be training, it might be not easy to understand each and everything. So you have to contribute a lot at that time. So it's better you should start your contribution from the beginning itself, from the day you are taking training from your training institute. You should start implementing, learning the things from that day only. You should complete your training successfully. Do not leave any of the topic. Do not think, okay, this topic is something uh, that we are going to implement after some experience. Okay, in the company also, I'm going to get training. Do not think in this way. Companies training are not that much great for sure. Let me tell you in a clear way. The way you get training in a training institute, the way you're going to get training in company, you're going to face a lot of difficulties there for sure. Okay, but they are clear with the concept they are going to pay you so their concept is like you have already cracked the interview they have asked you the technical question so you have performed that much so we are going to again revise all the things in a quick way and you should learn all the things in a quick way so to perform or to learn the things again in, in a quick way you should have already done the practice learned it in a better way earlier so guys hope you got some clarity this is not one example recently i connected to some of my students and uh, they all have conveyed me the same thing the company training is a little bit fast and uh, the company training is something like uh, they'll taught you 20 or 30 percent of things they'll provide you all the documents and they'll tell you to do or perform the remaining things or to learn or to discuss in a group by your own okay they'll assume that let's suppose there is a group of 10 people they have hired they'll taught you a few things and they'll tell you okay you can discuss in in the group and if you face any difficulty you can ask us okay to the trainers so the way of their training is in a different way. Okay, at the end of the day, uh, after completing one module or one stage, they'll take your assessment if you're performing good. So we'll move to the next module. If you're not performing good at that time, again, they will train you, they'll guide you. So it's better to do the things from beginning itself instead of having difficulties in the company's training. Again, whatever I'm telling, that is not that much difficult, but I'm making you aware if you are slipping during your early training, okay, institute training, so do not slip. I, I mean to say, focus. Do it in a focused way. A person can slip with the open eyes as well, okay? So hope you got clarity. Fully focus on the training institute training. So the journey will be smooth in the company training and in the project as well. Okay, so hope you got some clarity. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye everyone.